Truth, this is gonna be amazing or terrible. Oh, oh, I made this beat without sound. If you like it, make sure you like and comment, subscribe to my channel. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Da Vinci. So, today I have a very exciting video challenge. I'm gonna be making a plug in beat beat with no sound at all. I'm just gonna unplug my headphones, all my speakers gonna be off, I'm not gonna be able to hear anything. And I'm gonna attempt to make a beat by playing the keys and stuff like that. At the end, we're gonna play the finished product. We're gonna get my reaction and it's gonna be sick. Let's get into it. All right, cool. So we're in FL Studio. I can't hear none of these sounds. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with a, uh, I'm gonna start with like a, probably a piano or electric piano, I guess. Um, so I'm just gonna open up Contact. Um, I think I'm feeling more of so of a like, piano vibe today maybe um this is gonna be hard too because i have no metronome either <laughs> i'm not gonna be able to hear the metronome at all so i'm literally just gonna be playing like kind of like where you calling okay this is gonna be very this is gonna be challenging but let's do it man Grab a sound pulled up So we got the chords. Um, yeah, these are these are pretty basic chords. I, I usually play these chords a lot or whatever. Um, got the chords here. Gonna lower them a little bit. Um, and now we gotta add a little lead to this. So I'm gonna open up an ARP 2600. And ARP 2600 is just an Alteria plugin. They're re it's re uh, Alteria is just a plugin bundle. Um, it's like 20 plugins in the Alteria bundle, but it's like the best plugins I feel like. Uh, so we're gonna pull up this sign lead and um yet again like it's hard because there's like no metronome at all so i literally gotta look at this screen like right here just to like kind of see like the tick can happen in fl studio <laughs> so all right oh this might be super loud so let me turn this down hopefully everything's leveled out too so oh i think i gotta do that Hold on, i gotta like look at I think I'm gonna do that lead, like, like, cause I want it to be like, dun, 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 dun. the end right here. So I hope, I hope this sounds good. Dang. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna drag this over so it's repetitive. We have a little repetitive lead going. Um, and for this sound, I'm just gonna. Uh, should I put some? Should I start mixing these sounds? I'll just put a little reverb on. I'll put like a tiny bit of reverb on here. And I'll put like a tiny bit of delay on this as well. All right, cool. So we got a little delay. We got the chords. All right. So now we got that. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer the um. I'm gonna layer the chords with a pad sound, just so it's like kind of more like, you know, layered and just more like cool chords. I hope this sounds straight. Okay, so we got that now. Uh, next, gonna add the good old Da Vinci sound. You know the Lounge Lizard. I love Lounge Lizard. One of my favorite plugins. Um, we're just gonna do a little freestyle on the keys. And I'm literally gonna have to watch the freaking metronome. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, this, this is gonna be this is gonna be so challenging to do. how this sounds <laughs> i was gonna quantize it it's gonna be on beat at least i'm gonna put a uh 
cassette on it cassette on it just to like kind of like give a little wobble and coolness um and i think we're gonna add a string so i'm just gonna pull up a uh solena which is yet again another alteria plugin um so i'm gonna pull that up right here um gonna get air string one just gonna put this up here at a since we're in d this is like I don't know the word of it, but when I play when I play like a D minor chord progression, I usually would put like a string or it's like a sound that's one note throughout the whole loop, just in like uh, A, which is like five notes down from the uh, root key or whatever. Uh, it's gonna turn this down a little bit. I'm also gonna put this up an octave. Actually, that should be straight A6. Also, dude, comment what you guys think of this loop right now, because I have no idea what this sounds like, but comment if it's, oh shit, comment if this loop is cool, or comment if this sounds good or bad. If it sounds trash, tell me, like, honestly. Alright, so, what I'm also gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna try pitching it up to, maybe? Just so it's an E minor, because I know E minor is a little happier. D minor is, like, a little sadder of a key. Uh, so, yeah, we got the freaking melody here. I'm just gonna start doing some drums. So, we're just gonna pull up this clap. Um, yeah, pretty basic clap. Alright, so we're gonna do this. I'm just like watching the levels up here. I like the mixer just to see everything. Actually, let me make sure everything's like, okay. So everything's like. I kind of want to turn on the keys a little bit. I want everything to be like under 12. That's the most right here on the master. Clap. Got like six. Got the clap a little louder, maybe. Alright, cool. So we got that. Sweep right here to add some coolness to the loop. I hope this sounds cool, man. I really do. I really hope this sounds alright. Alright, so we're gonna put in a um, little uh, plug percussion sound here since we're doing like a plug plug and bead type beat for this video. Um, just gonna put this over here. Put the little laser sound in here. I love this laser sound so much. So cool. If you guys are wondering what uh, drum kit I'm using too, I'm using the DaVinci Kit Volume 5, which is my newest sound kit. Make sure you guys go get it if you guys haven't. Link in description on DaVinci.com. Okay, so then I'm gonna add this little uh, high tom at the end right here. This little tom roll at the end. This is like kind of standard shit stuff I would do in like typical plug me. Like I would, I would you know, usually my go to percussion sounds for plug me. Oh my gosh. I hope this is straight. I hope, I hope these levels aren't. I hope everything's like leveled out too. I hope it's nothing like. I hope like a sound isn't too loud or you know what I'm saying. I hope it's everything's all pretty, you know, leveled out. All right. So next we're gonna add an 808. Um, what 808 was I just using? Well, we'll just, we'll just use a 808 from this kit. So I'm gonna add the 808, do a quick arrangement, and then we're gonna listen to the beat and then see like, and then I'm gonna mix it and make it better and stuff. Um, but I'm just gonna click in the 808. Uh, you know, click in the 808. Gonna bring this up. So we got like pretty much the beat pretty much we got like a skeleton of the beat So I'm just gonna do like a quick arrangement and then we're gonna listen to the beat and see how it sounds So I'm just gonna you know do this real quick Quick little arrangement Let's See how this sounds Get the tag in Alright Take out the pad. Dilvin, Dilvin, you got the gold. 
This is kind of like a skeleton of a beat. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug in my headphones. Where my where's my headphone jack at? I'm gonna plug in my headphones into the interface, and we're gonna hear how this sounds. <laughs> All right, man. Moment of truth. This is gonna be amazing or terrible. Oh. Oh. Hey. level it out because honestly like hold on the hi-hats are a little loud this is hard wait hold on this is hard I just killed that. I just killed this shit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to hop on it real quick too. And if it sounds good, I'm gonna put it at the end of the video. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Hey, hey, yeah. What's up, YouTube?